Okay, East Mesbury, I'm going to make this quick. Uh, I know we only got about a month left of school, so uh, we want to get through this today. So just, just relax. Um, I'm here because this is going to be a great talent show, but uh, there's lots of ways we recognize talent. One way is we are trying to incorporate uh, media and technology in the classroom, and as a result of that, about two months ago, an opportunity came up where um, a national, the National Energy Foundation, was looking for students to make a video. And um, we had a couple kids that I thought were qualified. They put together a video, and as they, as it turns out, they won the national competition. So the National Energy Foundation is here to present the video, as well as the students uh, with some prizes. So we introduce Stephanie Dorman. She is uh, the local representative for the National Energy Foundation. So this is a national contest. It started about four years ago. We went from having roughly 10 entries our first year to over 130 entries this year. And about 75% of our entries were from South Dakota. Yet Pennsylvania won grand prize and both places for honorable mention. And I am really proud to introduce you to these guys as our grand champions of this national 811 video contest. And because they are the winners, they actually each receive computers. So they got to choose the computer that they wanted and they each chose a Surface Pro. Was that? Surface Book 2. So they each chose that computer and that's what they won for winning this national contest with over 130 entries. And they did a fantastic job and you're going to get to see their video today. But here is Nick Walker and Rich Lee. So real quickly, I just want to say thank you to Mr. Todd for bringing up this contest and just saying, hey, I think you guys would be good at that. And thank you to Mr. Davis because we met with him and just got all this information from him. He gave us, no, not Kramer, I apologize. Um, he gave us all this information and just sat there and was pretty much like, this is what you could do, this is what would look good, here's all the facts you need. So I just want to say thank you to both of them. I would just like to say uh, thank you so much, Mr. Todd and uh, Ms. Stephanie Dorman, for uh, giving me this opportunity to um, make a video about important information uh, regarding like, public, uh, public utilities and services. Um, I'm very thankful for uh, the, um, the contributions that we could have made, but uh, <laughs> with that being said, um, just thank you so much. So. Okay, good job. Let's get the show started. Actually, I think they're going to actually show you the video that they made first. It's only a minute long. That was part of the parameters. Did you know in the U.S. there are more than 20 million miles of underground utilities? The scary part is, they're only a foot to a foot and a half under the ground. 811 is the official number to call to see what's below. So why does this matter? Let me give you an example. Meet Bob. Bob here is going to build his kids a swing set, but he needs to dig a hole for the foundation. Bob decides to go in blindly, not knowing what's below the surface. Let's stop right there. We may not know it, but there's a lot of dangers lurking right below the surface. These include fiber optic lines, electrical lines, and sewer pipes. If struck, these could cause mass damage to the neighborhood and lots of money to repair. This is exactly why 811 was created, to help protect and inform communities and keep public utilities safe. Know what's below. Call before you dig. Yeah. 